All right. Good evening, everybody. So we're going to talk about module 11 real quick. Um, and some of the things that correspond to it, because there are some technological tools you need, plus obviously some knowledge as well. So we will start with um, the quadrants. Okay, they will ask you for quadrants. So quadrant one is where everything's positive. All right, now please realize the quadrants go in a counterclockwise direction. They go in a counterclockwise direction. So quadrant one is in the upper right. Quadrant two, where the X is negative and the Y is positive, is in the upper left. Quadrant three, where both coordinates are negative, that's down in the left, that's quadrant three. And then X negative Y, where the Y is negative and the X is positive, is quadrant four. All right, so when they ask you to plot points, make sure you remember that. Now, if it, it isn't in a quadrant, it must be on an axis. All right, the axes, if they give you a point X zero, where X is any number, that's going to be on in the X axis. So if they give you like five zero, that's there. For it to be on the Y axis, then the X coordinate is zero. So those are the points that are not on it. Now, the coordinate grid tool, which is what I want to spend most of the time working with. All right. The coordinate grid tool is right here. Okay. Now, when they ask you to plot points, that is the point tool. All you have to do is click on the point. So if they say like 7, 1, that's there. And you just click on the point. If you make a mistake, you just click the X. It may ask you if it's okay to delete. And then you go from there. So when you're plotting a point, this is the tool. When you're plotting a line, that's the tool right there. You just click it. So you have to plot two points. So if they ask you to plot a line, all right, if you plot any two points on the line, boom, there's the line. It'll come up. All right, and notice the light blue line indicates that's it. So that's how you do a line. So if you're going to do a line, that's the line. If you're going to do a point, just click the point menu, and then, boom, it'll give you all that. Okay? All right, hope that clarifies that. Now, next up, when they ask you to create a scatter plot, a series of points showing data, a scatter plot is simply a word problem involving the coordinate grid. Make sure you follow the directions. Make sure when they tell you which one's the X and which one's the Y, you plot accordingly on the graph. You don't want to switch them. All right? Linear equations. When you're identifying a linear equation, these are all equations that create a line. These are equations where X and Y are both variables, not found in any denominator or having exponents. The major forms are Y equals MX plus B and AX plus BY equals C. Notice the Y and the X are found as just numerators, all right? We assume they're over one and there's no exponents. Same thing with AX plus BY equals C. If they ask you if XY is a solution, all you do is plug it in. So you plug it into either of these equations up here and see if the equal sign holds. So you may end up with three equals a three. That means it's a solution. You may end up with negative four equals negative four. That's the solution, all right? If yes, it, they are equal, then you're done. No means no. It's that simple. So if it is a solution, then it's equal. If not, then you move on. If they give you one coordinate, plug that into one of those equations and solve for the other. So in other words, what should happen is you should be remain with one variable, and then you use equation solving skills you learned you utilized earlier in the semester. Translating equations. So if they want, they start in standard form, which is ax plus by equals c, and they want it in what's called slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Notice the Y is all by itself. So those are the literal equation skills you've been using all year. Okay? So basically all you're going to do is get the Y all by itself. I would suggest you subtract the AX from both sides and then divide by the B from both sides. All right? Horizontal lines, specifically, that's in the form Y equals B, where B is a constant. That is because Y is going to stay the same. Vertical lines. X equals K. That's because X stays the same. If X stays the same, it's going to keep going up and down. If Y stays the same, then it's going to be constantly going across. Last up is finding intercepts. My suggestion, normally, that's going to be in this format, AX plus BY equals C. When you do that, all you do is make the other variable equal to zero and solve. If they ask you for the X intercept, that means you make Y equal zero. If they ask you to find the Y intercept, then X equals zero. You then take that variable, for, you end up taking that variable term, all right, shouldn't be terms, term, 
and set that equal to constant. Okay. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. All right. Otherwise, have yourself a great evening.